Hello everyone, welcome back to the Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Um, off screen, all I did was respec Hendrik, so that he is now a sword and axe user. This way I could equip the bad axe and the brain drainer, both of which are really good gear. Um, but if you're going for pure damage output, great swords are still the way to go. Um, I personally prefer it just because, well, I kind of want to have all the ultimate, quote-unquote, weapons equipped. Which is why, um, everyone pretty much has them equipped. <laughs> with the exception of, uh, Beastmaster, by the way, is the ultimate for this one. With the exception of, um, uh, the sword and the spear. Which we can't get just yet. I might be able to get a second, uh, meteor rank. I believe I can. Uh, we'll see. Um, but other than that, yeah, everyone's equipped. Beastmasters you get from the tr uh, the Wheel of Harma, by the way. So yeah, we are all set to go. So this set may be shorter than the others, just because... Where is Hoto? We're only doing one thing, and that is the uh, Hoto side quest. The Hoto quest line. Um, after that, we will go off screen. Or I'll go off screen, get the remaining tacos that are available, and next time, we will probably go through the final dungeon up to the final boss. Then, uh, instead of that, we'll do, uh, just rush the. No, actually, no, next set we might do the rush. We'll see. We'll do all of the, uh, side quests. Or the tacos. Alright, we need to go talk to the Miko. One side note, Miko means princess. Or priestess, sorry. Or is a priestess, I should say. I'm not sure if it translates directly to priestess. Oh wow, load screen. I haven't done that in a while. Unhappy tidings. The one assailed by the fiend sleeps still like the bear. Fair mistress Miko. The rite cannot be performed with the beast abroad. Silence, whining car! A monk spirit is equal to any monster! This accursed wound! Till it heals, I am helpless. The right left undone. Oh, I sure wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. Oh, but we have guests. Forgive the storm of my rage. My shame knows no bounds. The wind blew you here. Surely it was not by chance. Will you hear my tale? The Angry Mountain. A rite must be performed there, lest fire consume us. But disaster looms. A monk was sent to pray, yet a beast blocked his path. The fiend loomed, monstrous. Fierce of fang and sharp of claw. He ran for his life. I long to hunt it. But I faced another foe and suffered this wound. A great fire dragon. Tatsunaga the Terror. Now he is no more. Forgive my boldness, but the beast blocks our lifeline. Slay it in my stead. I greet your kind words, as the step in high summer greets the fallen rain. Head first to the west. You will find a mountain path. There the monster lives. O oh, guiding spirit, guardian of rock and flame, protect these brave souls. Is it any surprise that Miko's design is one of my favorites? <laughs> I love her design. It's so... It's elegant and simple. I love it. 
Alright, so, based on what she said, uh, she was there, she went to Mount Huji to perform a sacred rite. However, a beast attacked her and she got wounded. When she went back to slay it, there was another beast that blocked her path. So she was weakened, she couldn't, uh, kill it. We are charged to kill the beast so that they can go, uh, kill the one that, uh, interrupted their ritual. Which apparently they need to, I think, quell the mountain so it doesn't, you know, erupt. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Path to Mount Fuji. There are actually two, um... Tackles here. Grrr! Get out of here! Go on, go away! <sighs> go away, or I will eat you! The beast is upon us. Stand fast. I... I am the spirit of the mountain, and I have very, very sharp claws. If you do not want to be torn to pieces, you had better get out of here. We're going nowhere. Not until you promise to stop bullying innocent monks and let the villagers climb the mountain. Huh? Um, was it something I said? Sh shouldn't they be running away? Wha what are we going to do? Shut up, idiot! They will hear us! How are we going to scare them away if you keep jabbering? This is all your fault, Aptico. Now we are in trouble. Shut up, Atta! If you had not fallen over, we would never have ended up in this mess! <laughs> so much for our big scary monster! It's just a couple of little ones! You surprised us, darlings! Foolish children! What possessed you to risk your lives with such recklessness? <sighs> no, we never meant to. <clears throat> we have done no wrong. Miko's right has to be stopped. A tragedy looms. Yes, yes! You have to listen to my brother. Miko wants to do a horrible thing and we have to stop her. Seems these bairns have got a bee in their bonnet about something. We'd better get to the bottom of this. You will hear us out. Other grown-ups ignore us, as mountains do rain. Do you really think they will? Is someone finally going to listen to us? I think so, and they seem very strong. With them on our side, people are sure to listen. <clears throat> <sighs> we have a hideout. A den, like a fox's home. We will meet you there. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> so sort of the haiku thing actually is something they have to consciously do. That's interesting. Well, I'll keep their minds uh, sharp, that's for sure. This? Lava lump. Thank you for coming. We have been awaiting you, as seeds await spring. These people, my son, the travelers you spoke of, light.
light in the darkness? Yes, mother, they came. The ones who did not treat us as horses treat flies. You said you were trying to stop the right. Why would you wish to do so? The right is sacred, or so we have long been taught. But this is just wrong. To appease the gods, a sacrifice will be made. Our own dear mother. <sighs> Human sacrifice? Oh my, this right is just not right. Miko gathered us. She made a grave pronouncement. A great shadow fell. In happier times, we offered up fruit, silk, corn. But those days are gone. Without sacrifice, living flame will consume us. The volcanoes rage. <sighs> that Lord of Shadows has got a lot to answer for. I was selected. A gift for the volcano. A live offering. But why me? Why now? It was the mountain that chose. Or so Miko said. Mother gave us life. So we had to fight for hers. It is our duty. A noble cause indeed. I see now why you did what you did. For the whole tree's sake, one leaf falls into the flames. Perhaps I should go. No, do not say that! You know your sacrifice is just an excuse! A few short days passed. Our mother saw Miko go, where she should not be. Miko learned of this. She now wants the truth buried. Her mother also. She hides a secret, up there on the mountainside. Why else would she go? It certainly sounds like something fishes afoot. Maybe the lad is right. It can't hurt to take a look, at least. You will take us there. This is music to our ears, as sweet as birdsong. Beyond this ladder, a path leads into darkness, the volcano's heart. All right. And there's the other taco. <laughs> oh, this is. I'm getting very much, um, Kami, uh, vibes here. Uh, for those that don't know, Okami is a video game by Cloversoft Studios. Um, recently bought up by someone else, I can't remember who. But, they tell the story of Amaterasu, the sun goddess, and, um, Susano, the god of the storms, as well as, um, uh, Orochi. It is a very interesting story, but the basic premise is Orochi demands sacrifices to, uh, not destroy a village, and we go out and kill him. Kind of. It's a fun game, uh, Okami. And the story about Orochi is pretty interesting, too. I've been debating on if I should do another playthrough of it, just because Things it's a lot of fun. Oh, Jade leveled up. Perfect. I've been in the mood to play it again, so I was like, mm, maybe I should. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, let's get a strength increase. There we go. This is a part of a uh, quest line in Hoto, so I decided to get it done right, right away. Whoop. I just needed to kill the lamplights, so. And somehow I stole their flame, which is kind of disturbing. Dead end, it seems. All twists and turns exhausted. The path leads nowhere. Well, 
It's a shame and all, but how about we get out of here? I don't know about you, but I'm sweating like a... <gasps> what in the world was that? It didn't sound good, whatever it was. Down there, look! Tatsunaga, the beast Miko spoke of. But did she not claim to have slain it? This is her secret. She did not beat the dragon. She left it to live. That liar, that cheat. Mother will not die for this. Miko must be stopped. Let us hurry back. The people deserve to know. The truth must be told. Sorry, I was looking up something. Um, I know what Tatsu means. It's Japanese. Uh, it means um, iron. Uh, iron, you know, stuff like that. Um, I was curious what Naga meant. Because I know what Nagas are in terms of mythology. They are half human, half snake, similar to Lamia. Um, but not in this context, I believe. Basically, uh, Naga can mean um, negative dark stuff like that so I think the translation is negative iron dark iron something like that it's kind of weird I don't know what Naga actually means I, I'm getting conflicting translations because you know Japanese is such a pain in the ass language but so good but I do know Tatsu is uh, iron Be still, Atsuo. You must be like a spring breeze, not a howling gale. I will not be still. I will howl it to heaven. Tatsunaga lives. <gasps> what nonsense he speaks. Tatsunaga is no more. Miko told us so. No, the creature lives. It roars and howls in its lair, loud as the mountain. You lie, wretched child. A beast blocks the way upward. You could not have passed. Ha! I am the beast. The unholy fiend you feared? Me and my sister. What? We took our mother and sought to keep you from her with a bold disguise. Idiot children. Your gangs will see us all killed by the mountain's rage. Ha! Why believe you? You whose tales of bold conquest were naught but hot air. The beast was not slain. You gave away our futures to save your own skin. Snake, devil, spider. You seek not sacrifices. You seek dragon food. Your scheme lies exposed. Your bargain with the dragon will not save you now. And what of Ryu, hmm? The son who fought beside you. Was his soul sold too? Enough! <gasps> Hush, kneeling kitten. What do you know of the truth? Of sacrifices? <laughs> 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 Can it truly be? The dragon's death, a facade? Dislodged by the breeze? If so, why all this? 
Why sate the mountain's anger? We die anyway. Silence! The dragon is gone. My beloved son slew him and paid with his life. Now, meddling brat, test the mountain's wrath no more. You risk all our lives. Bring forth your mother. The flames burn ever stronger while our time grows short. You shall not have her! I see through your web of lies. Accursed spider! <sighs> No. That's wrong. Come quickly. All right, so looked into it further. Here's why Japanese is difficult. Datsu can also mean to stand. It can also mean dragon. So, and I, and I got Tatsu and Tetsu mixed up, which is iron and yeah. From what I gather, Tatsunaga, the name itself uses um, the kanjis for fire dragon in it, but could also be translated into chief dragon. So, yeah, confusing shit. Tatsunaga! <gasps> She gave us to him. He will eat us all. <laughs> Steady. Fire. Again. Stop. Stay your weapons. Though this may seem a dragon. It is but a boy! <gasps> Mistress Miko. To sate your hunger, I give up my mortal form. The fox feeds her cub. No! Mistress Miko! Quickly! Fire! He will kill us all! Fate hangs by a thread. We must fight fire with cold steel. You must face the beast. I was surprised she thought that uh, that would work. To you know, stop it from attacking the village. Something that big? Yeah, no. One meal isn't going to be enough. Like seriously, his size, a person, a person of her size, she was a chicken nugget. You saw it swallow the priestess. Be on your guard. Alright, Tatsunaga, 2400 HP roughly, and a recommend level about 46. Let's do this. Catch me if you can! Alright. And revamp. Showtime. Let's get that buff going. Spells, uh, don't need one of that. Let's attack. Fuck! How's the press of crit? Let's actually do this. This will probably kill it. <laughs> or 
Or at least do a lot of damage. Alright, multi thrust. I need to heal, because that hurt. There we go. Have this now, so we have a protection against its fire if it decides to use it. Cool. Just <laughs> so many options. Uh, let's go crack it. Nice. Double cast. Moon. More damage against flying enemies. He's obviously flying, so. Beast flees! Chasen! Dust settles! Sunlight returns! The village is saved! <sighs> the bitter truth dawns. Day breaks. It's light, harsh, cruel. Miko is no more. First Mew, now Miko. The lion's taken from us. Only sheep remain. Did you see her trying to protect that thing before it ate her? What was that about, huh? Who can know her mind? The sun of her heart eclipsed. Treachery blinds her. But one thing is clear. Until its flame is smothered, the beast is a threat. Tatsunaga's lair, at the heart of the mountain, reached by the Great Gate. It must be unlocked. Miko's maid, she has the key. Come now, to the shrine. It's always important to know why people do things. Don't just brush it off. Okay, we got this. I like this temple. Hmm. By the by, this is one of the few times we gain access to the Miko's uh, room. So make sure to get everything that's here. The gods so cruel to pile like rocks upon her, burden on burden. We came for the key, the one for the mountain gate. There, the dragon waits. With Miko's light gone, yours is the only glimmer. Take it, it is yours. We have the key. Clouds part. The way ahead clears. The end is at hand. Hmm. Wait. Hmm? You must know the truth. It sleeps between these pages. Wake it. Make it yours. Looks like a diary of some kind. Must be Miko's. My sins rend my heart. I must confess them all free. Thus, I record them. The battle was fierce. 
At last the dragon lay prone. My son drew his sword. But then, like a fog, blackness rose from the dragon. Poor Yu was smothered. I carried him home. He tried to fight the darkness, but the night prevailed. The beast had cursed him. Pain racked my poor boy's body. I watched his form change. He was a dragon. I had to hide him away. Pretend he was dead. <gasps> Can her words be true? Not Tatsunaga, but Ryu. This is who he fought? Hey, don't interrupt, honey. I want to hear how it ends. Could he be restored? A storm of doubts assailed me. But then the skies cleared. The magic mirror in which true forms are revealed. This might save my son. Alas, the mirror neither revealed nor restored. Though I tried and tried. My son's hunger grew. The hunger of the dragon for the flesh of men. It burns like hot sun. The agony of knowing. The choice that I make. But my son must live till I master the mirror I wear by my heart. Thus have I chosen. Though others' lives are squandered, my boys must be saved. Ugh, it's a tragic tale. The poor woman, torn between her child and her people. It was a choice you wouldn't wish on anybody. Maybe if we could get our hands on that mirror she mentioned, we might have more luck with it than she did. But Tamika is gone. The magic mirror with her. The light of hope fades. You cannot be saved. Only the creature remains. You must forget him. Mother devourer! Peril! Foul scourge! Murderer! The beast must be slain. Yes, the time has come. Meet me on the western path, before the great gate. Fun side note, um, one of the other ways to pronounce dragon in Japanese is Ryu. So, it's kind of, it was kind of obvious. Alright. Oh, let's go. Can I flash over to Hoto? Or Mount Huji? I don't feel I need to explain the joke with Mount Fuji, but if you don't get it, it's just a play on the word Mount Fuji. <laughs> or, uh, Fujisan. Alright, got all this. Let us go and, uh, check it out. Where is the priest? There he is. Let's save. I might do a little bit of the final dungeon, depending on how long this takes. Because there's a few things I want to grab in there. But luckily, they're right near the beginning, so... It wouldn't take uh, all too long to get. Alright. Let's go slay this thing. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? Fuji. Of course, Mount Fuji doesn't look like this. <laughs> this place is a hellscape. Funnily enough, I don't. Oh. A warm welcome face, like the spring after winter. Throw open the gate. Didn't need 
you tell me. I must see the end of the dragon and his tail. I must come with you. So yeah, being this close to lava would be bad for you. Like, you'd be burned. Um, boiled alive almost. Without proper, uh... Uh, what's it called? Protection. Alright, fun side note. It's actually really important. This place is another great place to level grind. Because of those fuckers down there. Um... I'm gonna go through the monster list real quickly just to make sure of another enemy. Uh, where is it? Cool, they do. So, that down there is a... Klangustestein? Something like that? They give you about almost 4,000 EXP per kill. So pretty useful. Uh, in this area, a creature known as Hardy Hand can spawn. And they do have a tendency of spawning with those motherfuckers. So you can get a good amount of uh, EXP by grinding these. And they usually come in groups. Um, and unlike um, uh, Metal Slimes, they don't have a tendency of running away outright. They do on occasion, keep that in mind. But it's not like, alright cool, I have came across five Metal Slimes and they're gone. It doesn't do that type of thing. But they are really good at, uh, this is a really good place to grind the XP. Hardy Hand! If you don't have access to, um, uh, what you call it? The pep stuff. Whoa! So all you have to do is kill it. Like that. Well, seeing Eric. I owe you hey, the spell finally worked! Let's see. Guaranteed. 50-50. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you want to do some level grinding before the final boss fight, this honestly is the... or the final dungeon, I should say. This is honestly the, your best bet. They are technically metal monsters, these motherfuckers. So you do need a crit to kill them. Or uh, metal weapons to do a good amount of damage. Another one bites the dust. And if you're to pop a hallelujah before this, whew! You get some good stuff. By the way, to get the stuff behind these boulders, you need to destroy one of those, uh... One of these guys over here and just plow through them. There is a magma staff here, as well as a mini metal. Nice. Uh, Multi-thrust, Vizor Kaiser. And just attack the, the evangelical lizard. Stop in and rush. All I have to do is just go to it and plow through. Oop, too far. Hold on. Um, if you're also looking for firewood or uh, magma balls, this is a great place to get them. Firewood can be found here in uh, respawn points, like those. Sparkles. We'll grab this real quick. And there's a magma ball. This is for stuff like making uh, Rab's other costumes. Pardon me. And firewood. So it's a pretty good spot to get some quick levels as well as some good materials. And those motherfuckers down there respawn pretty quickly. All you have to do is get get up to here, fight him, and head back down and they should have respawned. 
If not, you can just keep fighting them uh, two by two. That usually works too. This more firewood. Oh, I'm through. Where am I going? Oh, shit. Got a little turned around. I'm actually surprised I got a hardy hand right out the gate. Those guys are a little hard to find. Um, you can find them earlier on over in the Lango uh, Gondolia area. Um, all you have to do to find them is fight, um, uh, Metal Dragonlights, or whatever they're called. You have a, you have a good chance to find them that way. Come through, come through! Ah, fuck. Just attack. <laughs> nice crit. Right, let's get rid of the Kaiser. Fizzle twice. Damn. I kind of wish that was the ability I could learn. It's <laughs> actually really cool. See, I'm more likely than not going to come back here just to get some of that shit. Those hardy hands are really good EXP. Let's just do this first. Then, files. Oh, that'll do. Is this really him? The man who once fought for good, reborn as a beast. Once kind as the sun, once gentle as the spring breeze, now he burns, rages. For our dear home's sake, I would gladly give my life. He said this to me. He must be released. For Hotto's sake, and for his, please, end this sadness. So this is the true Tatsunaga fight. 4,800 HP. Recommend level around 47, 48. Let's do this. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Cute. He also attacks three times per turn. So yeah, he's a bit more brutal now. Alright, what we got? Uh, let's go ahead and just Dragon Slash. He is a dragon. Spell, more heal, Lucian. Do I have... I do! Crushed Ice! Perfect. He's a fire dragon, he's weak to ice. Full on a thousand. I think Tatsunaga is actually one of the very few enemies that, uh, excuse me, can attack three times per turn. Like, I believe not even, um, the final boss can, uh, make that claim. I hope this helps. Alright. Uh, crushed ice. So good, that damage. Right, if you survive, you're in for a world of pain, Tatsunaga. Rude. 
Okay. That's not good. Um, uh, fuck. I don't have anything to do. Damn it. Okay. Um, Lucian. Everyone else is knocked down. So that, uh, doppelganger was a pointless thing. Stop. Alright, heal Lucian. Hopefully this Serana, I'll be able to use both well to heal. Luckily her, uh, medical mending is just bananas. Oh wait, I have Sage's Stone! I can, no, I don't have to equip it anymore, damn it. I unequipped it. And I forgot to put it back in. When I was, uh, re, uh, re uh, sliding items. And just double down. Luckily we have that fire protection. Did I put it away? I did, damn it. I'm about to do that again off screen. Uh Dragon Slash. Yeah, Serana can heal us all. Thanks. This will probably finish him off. Yep. Sorry, buddy. I love the design of Tatsunaga, though. I, I love the design of that creature type specifically, but uh, in general. But Tatsunaga's black and red design specifically—it's such a good color combination. Oh yeah. I feel better than ever. Now you learn. Motherfucker. All right, Lucian, you have twenty. Where'd you get that? Cause that. <laughs> Catastrophe. I love it. Now, I believe these two might be different levels of Zap as well. I know this is Big Bonga, because I uh, unlocked it earlier when I had dual, uh, dual, uh, dual great swords for um, Buff Buff. I'm trying to learn this, so I need 11 more. Lovely. Serata, you broken bitch. Alright. There we go. Finally. Now all her harps do um, increased effectiveness. So instead of like, you know, yeah, let's cut off like half maybe, or a quarter of the HP. And now it's like, you should have half to like, you know, 75% off. So it's good good to have. Um, what else do I want? What that next? Yeah, that's going to be my next goal. Silv! Your deafness. I got the I got it wrong, by the way. This is Gold Rush. A few sets ago, I said that uh, this was Pink Pirouette. Honestly, isn't a bad set either. Bad, bad ability either. All right. Back at you. Like the look of this. Mirror now mastered. The season of the beast ends. That of peace begins. Shed my shell of torment and walk in the sun. The mirror's power, though great, could not show the truth. That truth lay within. With it inside me, at last the miasma cleared. 
The curse was broken. One question remains. How did the mirror get there? What brought the out in? Time grows short. My spirit ebbs like the tide. I drift from life's shore. But I am ready. Knowing that all is now well, I die happily. I ask only this. Tell my mother I love her. I await her there. When first we came here, rage burned in me at Miko, at her treachery. But though she did wrong, she did it with good reason, or so she believed. She loved her son Ryu, just as we love our mother, as the fox its cubs. Now to the village. The sun shines on Hotto once more. We must share the news. I bet that's going to be an awkward uh, family reunion on the other side. At last we are saved. Your courage is as boundless as the starry skies. <laughs> Can you forgive us? To condone your sacrifice brought eternal shame. The past is buried. A new season greets us all. A season of sun. How can the sun shine on a village whose people drift now, rudderless? We believed in lies, trusted one who betrayed us. Who now will guide us? Uh, are grown-ups not supposed to be able to think for themselves? The dragon is gone. For this, we thank our friends here. But Miko the most. Though she betrayed us, we only live thanks to her. Our breath is her gift. To sacrifice us must have burned hotter than fire. We must forgive her. A new dawn awaits. We must make our own future. She died that we might. <sighs> They do not need to know the whole truth. They have seen tragedy enough. The people of Hotto must rely on themselves now. And Atsuko and I will make sure they do. Hmm. Really growing up with him. All right, so now shops should be back open. Before with Tatsunaga around there, like, no, no, there's no reason to. We're gonna die in the morning. One of them has something inside of them that I want to grab. But I probably won't use it. It's probably this shop. Yeah, she has it. Alright, cool. The Wolf Dragon Armor. While not really, ooh, bandit mail. 
She's also selling the um, liquid metal armor set. So, pretty useful. And he is selling a bunch of things. The boomerang. Nice. And just show it off. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. It's actually better though. Huh. Not bad, not bad, honestly. It's appearance. I honestly would love this armor set if it wasn't for the pauldrons and the cape. And without those, I would have loved it and I would have equipped it immediately. But it just... The, the, <laughs> the shoulder pads seem a little too much, you know? So, eh, while well, I want to, I can't. I think I'll stick with the, uh, the Fugitive for now. Oh, I'm over here, so I'll turn this in. Rubricant. Noise. I don't really need it, but noise. Alright, yay. Yeah, I just I love Japanese armor. Uh it's really cool. But that armor just looks a little weird on Hero. On Lucian. Do you have anything special? No, not really. Although you do sell this now. Cool. That's a rare material. Maybe the armor would look better running around. You know? I may uh, try that off screen while I'm running around doing shit. Oops, excuse me. We need to go talk to uh, Miko's servant again. So we tell her about the forge, she gives us the key to it, because we helped them out. We could have done all this like we could have done um, the uh, Eriduin's Lantern Falling uh, event much earlier on. And then when we find out, like, oh, we need the forge, we could have come back here like, hey, I need help. But, uh, meh. Don't really need to worry about it too much. Save. Alright, the set will probably go a little bit over. We're probably going to go for an hour 20. Uh, just so I can get access to the final area. And get those two things I want to grab. Like I said, though, luckily they're both relatively easy to get early on. Well, maybe one of them is. I'll probably do it. Alright. Let's go to the Crucible and forge this sword. We have an Orichalcum, because that's all you need to make a sword. All you need is, you know, the metal. You don't need, you know, leather bindings for the handle. You don't need uh, detailing work. You just need a hammer, some metal, and a really hot place. All you need. Excuse me. Alright, let's go do this. This is a really cool cutscene though. I will give it that.
What's happening? This is the place we saw in the vision. I'd know that decor anywhere. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's make a new sword of light so we can go chop the Lord of Shadows down to size. Uh, hmm. Actually, we're gonna call it here. <laughs> I know, dick, right? Um, I looked into it, and the location of some of the stuff is a bit more farther in than I anticipated. And I kind of want to do this all... If I get that far, I might as well just finish the dungeon. So we're going to call it here. Uh, next set's going to be us getting up to the final boss, but not actually fighting them yet. So, hope you guys enjoyed this set. I'll see you guys next time. We'll continue from here. And until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.